All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the driveway engineer. Please ignore the things I'm going to say in the video here shortly. Uh, I'm refilming this intro because my content is not staged, by which I mean, like, I don't go ahead of time and talk to people and say this or, or whatever. Obviously, I staged this particular shot, but, you know, it's real life. So, before we get to this engine that's dangling here from the hoist, I'm going to tell you, or you're going to watch, the tale of two 440s, um, one that you should buy and one that you should not. So enjoy the show and we'll see you afterwards. And kind of be on the lookout out there. It seems that there's a lot of deals coming up lately as uh, people's money runs out and they get a little more desperate. So there should be plenty of opportunity out there for hot rodding. Enjoy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the driveway engine. Our peanut and cocoa are in the back seat. Def Leppard's on the radio, and we're heading out of our area to go pick up a super secret surprise. Uh, it's kind of a bad idea, but I don't really care. Hot rodding is built on bad ideas. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we got promises to keep and miles to go before we sleep. So, uh, I'm heading about an hour and a half from home. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get there. Just wanted to show you guys on the trip. We're gonna get that good cornbread. You gotta eat your cornbread, boy. Mm -hmm. It's fun for me to go on trips. I wish my wife was with me. She enjoys trips too. But whenever people are like, not in my area, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm, you know, out here with a dog and uh, hours from my home for fun and pleasure. Actually, Chelsea also, that uh, scat pack reminds me, is uh, where Stellantis Chrysler's proving grounds are. Uh, so that's where they test all the super secret shit. Good times. Um, I'll bring you guys back further on a longer trip. All right, uh, obviously I'm getting back on the freeway. I guess it might not be obvious to you. I left that bitch right where it's at though. Uh, dude was missing the oil pan, oil pump, timing cover, fuel pump, pickup, push rods, uh, every fucking thing. So uh, yeah, yeah. he's like, you're not even gonna make me an offer? I'm like, it would be insultingly low. Uh, don't be afraid to walk away. I, I will find another one and uh, I'll wrap this video up here in a moment. All right, so I've got a peaceful, easy feeling. I'm uh, rolling through Jackson again, and uh, I had another guy I reached out to this morning, didn't get back to me, did get back to me now, 
and we are heading to St. John's, Michigan now to pick up something that is, is complete, has the oil pan on it, has a transmission on it, has an ignition, has push rods, etc., etc., etc. So uh, I'll bring you guys back. I hope you're enjoying the adventure. I don't know, Peanut's a little too peaceful, easy feeling back there, but um, they're enjoying their bye bye as we crisscross the state looking for big blocks. So, bring you guys back. All right, so I'm back to the shop. I uh, see that my cherry picker is buried underneath the pile of last shit that I bought that I just had to have that I haven't used yet. So, uh, you know, good times. This is it. This is the 440. Um, it all checks out. I don't know why there's like two. I don't know what's going on here. I guess I don't really care. I'll figure it out at a later time. Um, but it's got the ignition module. It looks like it puked. Oh, son of a bitch. This is what used to happen to the Dura Sparks. It puked all over the back of the transmission. I bet this doesn't even work. Whatever. Um, it's a 440 RV. Uh, 440. It's got, you know, Edelbrock carb on it that seems to be seized up. Uh, it's got a clutch fan. So I can't quite see if it spins. The guy swore up and down that it does. Uh, it probably does. Um, giant brake on the transmission. This is a 727. And it doesn't have the yoke on it. So basically it's the effort of a rebuild to fix this. But I'll probably just take that to the train shop. And like I said, I, I know a guy that'll do it for a few hundred bucks. Um... To end this video, I'm going to get this off the truck and set it here conveniently in the yard. And uh, next time you see it, I will be cleaning it up a little bit and starting to go through some of these vacuum lines and rat turds that are in it. Uh, and see if we can get it running. See what it takes. So, I'm going to get it running before it goes in to the... Uh, the Dodge, which currently has nothing in it at all. So, um, we'll start there. I have a box full of carburetors if this one doesn't want to play nice with me. And, uh, it's got a fuel pump on it. it it's, oh, it's missing a starter. It's missing the starter. So, I'll have to deal with that, but no big deal, really. Uh, yeah. Score, 450 bucks complete boy even though i'm not going to use all this stuff but you know i might so better to have and not need than need and not have right thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time on the driveway engineer